Shadow people, real or myth? Hello, everybody. It's time for another Cappy. I can't say Cappy Live anymore, can I? No, you said that on the last video. Yeah, I keep. I almost keep saying. Well, I mean, yeah. what six years we were doing that live? Yeah. So, Cappy yeah. Evolutions. The Cappy new Evolution is the new one. Yeah, I like that. Um, so, welcome to Cappy Evolution. Uh, I'll get it. I promise you. It, it just takes me a while. Old people, it takes them a long time to get used to new stuff. So, y'all just bear with me. It's only your second <laughs> video, so we'll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Recorded video. recorded video. That's right. But as you can see, I'm joined tonight. It's not just me in the middle of the screen anymore. It's also Polar Bear. Welcome aboard, man. How's it going? It's going good. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad you're here too. First time I've been on your show. Have you ever had a yeah. guest on your show? Um, yeah, yeah. We've had team members on the show, and we've That's had right. listeners I've on the show. I've actually seen John on there with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, we've had uh, listeners join in the show too. Uh, not on the show like you are, but I mean, yeah, you know, be part of it. Yeah, be a via uh video but um it's good to be back for another video and and i'm really excited about tonight's topic it's something that um i've had a lot of experience with a lot of people in the paranormal if you've been at any time you're gonna experience shadow, shadow people. people yeah they're they're kind of like uh evps and orbs it's just gonna happen you know is shadow people the technical term for it you know what uh shadow people started in about 20 2001 um, I know you've heard of Art Bell. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, it's sure. Coast to Coast. Yeah. Uh, he was doing an episode and was just taking random calls one night. And a lady called up and was talking about the shadow people that was around her that she was having experiences with. And um, Art became so interested in the topic. He had never heard of it before. And he became so interested in the topic that he said, well, you know what? I want to know if anybody else has any. And for the rest of that show, they got like, 4,600 stories. So when she called in, was she the one that said shadow people? She was the first so one that she, called them shadow people. She coined the yeah. phrase. She now, coined that the we phrase. know of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, shadow people, in a sense, have been around in the paranormal since the beginning of the paranormal, which was since the beginning of us. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, they've, they've been around a lot. Um, it's just that they were always called different things depending on where you were and, and what type of culture that it was in. Yeah. Um, the Choctaw Indian which one was one listed as one of the five most advanced civilizations because um, they had a hierarchy and a government and stuff right. like that and would allow different races into the tribe through marriage and stuff like that. Um, very, very uh, progressive. <laughs> yeah, they were. They were very, very progressive. They allowed whites and blacks into their tribe uh, if they were married into the tribe, and they would, which no other uh, – nation would do that certainly not ours yeah not ours <laughs> <laughs> so but um they uh they had one and it was called a uh and, and if i'm i know i'm gonna say it wrong because i always do but um uh lunusa chateau okay um was their shadow person uh -huh. basically um and they kind of brought it brought it to the uh the attention of the Europeans because they had such a good working relationship with the Europeans. Right. So they kind of brought that myth and legend of the shadow person to them. So it's been around a while, yeah. you know, a long while. And, um, the, um, uh, genies or the gins, the gin. Yeah. You know, they were, um, if you're middle Eastern, you yeah. know, and so that was back way back before yeah. dates, you know, <laughs> once whenever they started talking about, um, Genies or gins, we we changed it to gen, genies. Yeah, and, and yeah. our version is way different. They, yeah. they grant we, wishes. Yeah, and we turned them nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then they, Robin they Williams so changed great. it all. Yeah, yeah, right. But uh, <laughs> the classes are fogging. I'm getting scared. I guess. Yeah, but in 2001 is whenever they first started. Really, I don't know what prompted her to say shadow. I guess she saw it, and that's what she perceived it as was a shadow person so. yeah well i mean it's, it's the shadow of a person yeah, yeah. that's all you see I, I i did some research on it i don't know if i'm getting ahead of you here I no mean, no no go ahead um i i didn't i don't know a lot about shadow people i i've seen it you know obviously on youtube stuff like that the reports of shadow people and and right, right. you know i've obviously you know that i've only been in the paranormal for a few years under mm -hmm. you know the guidance and watchful live central mm -hmm. alabama paranormal investigators but that's right uh, just just glancing at Wikipedia and other websites, stuff like that, they talk about you know the different variations of shadow people and being accompanied by um, sleep paralysis and stuff like that. Right. Typically, right. so you know mm -hmm. uh, some psychologists and people like that try to chalk it up as 
hallucinations because of sleep yeah. paralysis. Right. And then in the psychology world, they, they chalk it up as sleep paralysis because of the shadow people. You know right. what I mean? So right. I guess it's just like anything in life is based on perspective. Yeah. Or, yeah. or you know, facts, obviously, but it's mm-hmm. it's hard to prove anything in the paranormal world. These, you know, it really sometimes. Is. It so. really is. You know, and, and throughout my career in the paranormal, I've never really accepted anything as far as hard evidence or procedure or even practice mm-hmm. that I couldn't akin or marry strictly to the paranormal. Right. Um, like what Beth and I are always arguing about the, the uh, spirit box. Yeah. You know, yes, there's a possibility that that could be a conversation from a, par- a paranormal event, a supernatural event. Mm-hmm. That is definitely possible, but it's also possible that it's uh crazy Larry's car sh- dealership and you know, Utah mm-hmm. that's coming through the radio wave. So, um, marrying shadow people to sleep paralysis, which, ha- which is very common. Um, it can, it kind of falls into that same realm because it, it could be paranormal mm-hmm. or it could be sleep paralysis. And, you know, um, in the paranormal, we, we talk a lot about what the brain perceives us as doing and what it doesn't. Well, you know, when we're dreaming, the brain really believes we're doing what we are dreaming about. It, 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 it accepts it as reality. Well, that's a rabbit hole though. And, if you go down that, because oh my gosh, is, yes. is reality not what our brain tells that it is? Exactly. So, I exactly. mean, if, if our brain is telling us that the dream is reality, it is. Right. Right. To us and, and to our world, yes, it is. Absolutely because when you're right. awake, because your brain interprets what reality is. Right. Exactly. I mean, it, it's exactly. A, that's a crazy like rabbit the, hole the, that I'm the, not. The person dreaming they're running a marathon and they wake up with shin soreness. Yeah. You know, because or those, sweat and they haven't moved. Those muscles have been working yeah. because the brain attributed that to reality. Yeah. So that, that, that's the way it happens. Um, sleep paralysis and the old hag, if you will, um, which in the parapsychology part of it, they do list the, the old hag as a shadow person. Mm-hmm. Um, but anytime something like that's happening, sleep paralysis, dreaming, whatever, euphoria, whatever, the brain has to have an ex- explanation for everything. Right. It doesn't, it doesn't accept. Oh, I we don't have know. to rationalize everything. Yeah, exactly. The, our brain does not know how to say, I don't know. Yeah. It doesn't have that ability. Yeah. It has to know what's going on. And if it can't figure it out, hell, it'll just make something up. Yeah. It's got to. Yeah. And so, Whenever we're in that zone of sleep and awake, I um, mean, we're in the um, psychomotor stage of dreaming or, or consciousness or unconsciousness, and and we're trying to the brain's trying to figure out, well, why can't I move? What's going on? I know I'm awake because I can see what's going on around me. Yeah, I know I'm awake because I can smell the pie baking. You know, but but why can't I move? You know. So has science narrowed down what causes sleep paralysis? You know, stepping aside from the shadow people. Um, theory i don't know if it's a theory or fact yet but Mm -hmm. do we know the different causes of sleep paralysis if there's no underlining health issue it could be pharmaceutical could be Uh, a a plethora of things yeah there's a um an ingredient and the words about this long um uh in uh benadryl yeah that um if taken it could cause sleep sleep paralysis well that ingredient per- basically makes it easier for us to hallucinate. Yeah, if I, if you will, and so that if is you're no that- uh, no call for you to go and and try Benadryl at at high dosage. Either. This is just a <laughs> that's right. A, it's a, not a good thing. Yeah. Um, but full disclaimer: in that zone between awake or conscious and unconscious, uh-huh. in that zone when we're we're our brain has figured out, okay, we're awake because we know what's going on, mm. but we're not awake because we're not our psychomotor isn't working. You know, we're not able to, to, to move or anything like that. And so when our brain perceives it as paralysis, yeah. uh, anytime we can't move an, a limb or an appendage or anything like that, right. the body says, okay, you're paralyzed. And so during that realm of sleep and awake, we could fall into that euphoria of dreaming and into that. Um, we're so far in, and that usually happens when we're extremely tired. Yeah. Um, usually the, the, the most, Severe cases of sleep paralysis has it, it follows sleep deprivation several days of sleep yeah. deprivation. Right, right. Um, there was a, a contest years ago. I think they still do it, but or actually, I don't think they do. I think they got too dangerous. But I'm sure you've seen it where they put their hands on something. Yeah, like a car or yeah, something like a tr- yeah, car, I've seen truck, those. boat, or whatever. And the last person with their hand on it wins it. Um, 
There Boy, was, in this economy, people would be willing to die for that. They would just yeah. tape their hand and die there. Right, right. But um, I was involved in one of those years ago, and um, a gentleman, after I think it was four days, um, a gentleman uh, took his hand off of the uh, vehicle. Mm -hmm. It was a vehicle, and uh, started playing golf. No, oh, no. And uh, when they asked him, so what he, he just doing, went full Saturn. Yeah, he's like Uranus. Yeah, he just. <laughs> He was out. <laughs> Outer space. You know, so he was in an, an, an awakened state, but his brain couldn't make up the, the difference between why are you so tired, but yet you're awake? You know, why, why are we not functioning on sleep? So we're know? just, uh, we're slipping. When you go into sleep deprivation, we're slipping between the realm of consciousness and unconsciousness. We can't, we can no longer fathom what's real and what's not exactly. anymore. So yeah. our memories become yeah. full reality at that And point. once again, the brain cannot accept that. Right. So it will make stuff up to, to but okay, this is this not is the cause happening. of shadow people. No, 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 no. no. Um, that's just one of the the reason I brought that up is because well, yeah, I asked about, it has yeah. that possibility yeah. of being that. But yeah, we have been to rule several, out everything. Yeah, there's been more than a, more than one occasion. Personally, I've never experienced sleep paralysis. I've never experienced a shadow person during uh, sleep paralysis or any of that stuff. Uh -huh. um, and most of the times, whenever some a client or 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 just someone asking for advice tells me about a sleep paralysis situation nine times out of 10, 9.99 times out of 10, it's usually that brought on by yeah. sleep deprivation or sleep paralysis or pharmaceutical or whatever. So to sum things up, the shorthand version, uh, I believe is that we try to rule out all possibilities. So, you know, if, if they're reporting, if our clients are reporting to us that, they have sleep deprivation or they're experiencing shadow people or whatever. We're going to, we're going to delve deep into not necessarily their private intimate life, but are you sleeping well? Are you taking any kind of new medications? Because we're going to rule out uh, right. all factual real world applications that could be possible. You know what I mean? We, we want to make sure that we're, we're not going to miss anything. No stone left unturned, I guess right. would be right. the term. And sometimes that does involve getting, very personal. Very personal. Yeah, but so. in the long run, it's it's helping them. Because, oh, yeah. You know, Absolutely. we're not building a medical file mm -hmm. on them that we're going to use against them. We're right. trying to help these people recover and get back to a, a, a normal right. life, right. if you will, if there is such mm -hmm. a thing anymore. But but um, the, the experiencing of uh, shadow people um, while conscious, um, it can't be attributed to sleep paralysis no. or anything like that. Um, like I said, I've never experienced the sleep paralysis of the old hag syndrome or anything like that. Now, what so, is the old hag syndrome? That's a new term to me. The old hag is, um, uh, is a type of, it's list is labeled as a type of, uh, shadow person. It's like the an difference entity. between, um, the old hag and a regular shadow person, a, a conscious shadow person is a shadow person doesn't have any features. Yeah. Um, just it a gives a persona of a face and, and it, and it makes you think it has face because right. like, people will say it turned and looked at me. Yeah. Well, what was his eyes like? I don't know. I couldn't make out any features. Well, how do you know it was looking at you? Cause I knew I had the, the thought of a face there, you know, which it could be, it's there, but it, we can't see it or it's just our brain once yeah, again, making yeah. that face. In Trying the to rationalize. Things. Yeah. Right. Right. So, so the old hag is the, the silhouette of a, of a female. No, actually, the old hag is actually, um, it, the classification she's in is, is what's called a form shadow person. Okay. You have a uh, missed shadow person, a regular shadow person uh -huh. is where there's, you know, the fedora hat. And, yeah, yeah. But no facial features. And then you have the physical shadow person, which is the old hag. Yeah. Now, she does have facial features. You can look at her and see, and most people attribute it to like a And she looks like an old hag? Yeah, looks like an old witch, okay. like an old okay. hag. So that's why the, the, the term was coined. Right. Now, you brought right. up the, the hat. In Wikipedia, that was mentioned, uh, you know, was that uh, there is a type of entity, shadow person, that has a hat. So yeah. that that's cool, and and many people from from di many different backgrounds, different states, different countries, if you will, mm -hmm. are reporting the hat. You know? Yeah, they do report the hat. A lot of times they report a different type of hat. Yeah, um, there's the fedora, um, a top hat. Yeah, um, the uh, sombrero has been part of it. Um, so in that situation, I don't know how you would pick out exactly what hat it was because I'm not going to stop and ask. I think it's perception. Yeah, I really do. I it's think how they yeah, rationalize exactly, it. exactly. Yeah. Whenever we're seeing something, you now both of us can uh, be involved in a bank robbery, um, and whenever later when we're talking to an investigator and giving our side of the story while we were laying on the ground, um, have completely two, different, two different stories. Completely yeah. different stories. 
and um, trauma they say causes that. Right, exactly, exactly. And so the the hat situation, I think, is just perception I and, really and so. trauma because again. Same it, thing, very traumatic. The wide brim never changes. Yeah. on the on the hat. I think it's just what you know. I may look at a hat and see a top hat, and then yeah. um, a Spaniard may look at that hat and say, "Well, that's that's definitely a sombrero." Yeah, you know, so. I think it's the perception of it. So. Now, have we had clients in the past that, have, I mean, I'm sure we have, but I, I'm not aware of any that, that have reported shadow people. Absolutely. And sleep Absolutely. paralysis, maybe. Yeah, 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 we have. Um, and as I've said, I've never gotten a report of a sleep paralysis shadow person that I couldn't attribute to actual physical sleep paralysis. Yeah. yeah. The pos- or a great possibility thereof. Right. So, but I have... Okay. Um, Several that we that have had it without the sleep paralysis. I have seen shadow people in and, and just. But you were fully conscious. Stuff. You were fully doing an investigation, right. or right. you just doing it. Well, you know what? That brings up a story. Um, for years, um, I had a uh, shadow person that would visit me. Um, if we were doing investigations, um, well, you know how that goes. You can go some months and you do an investigation every weekend. Oh yeah, and then you can go another month and not do one at all. Yeah. And then go another month and you do two or three. It's the downtime's yeah. the worst. Right, right. Well, it seemed to me that when we were really busy and then it would stop, mm-hmm. for whatever reason, like December 15th through January 5th, we take a break. Right. You know, for the you team know, the and the families. And stuff, right. Yeah. And so then just as we would start back up again and start doing investigations again, not necessarily starting the investigations, but just on the brim of starting getting back busy again, I would be visited by a shadow person. Um, and it would be different, always the same shadow person, but different areas, you know, it would be in I'd your be home. At, I'd be at home. I'd be at work. I'd okay. be whatever. And I would say, I'd be riding down the road and look over and he's sitting in the seat. So this all happened in one year yeah. or, or consecutive, no, it happened years? consecutive years. Yeah. Okay. It happened for a long, long time. Then I started confronting it and asking questions and then, and it stopped happening more and more and then to where it just stopped completely. Okay. And so I haven't, I haven't experienced that in quite some time. But, um, Do you think that confronting it? Um, maybe scared it away or you took its power away or do you have any thoughts on that? I don't know. I really don't. Um, I, I, I've, I've often thought about the possibility of me confronting it may have changed my perception of it, um, made it less spooky, yeah. you know, if you will. But um, I, I don't know. I don't know why it would. The reason that I asked change. that is that uh, it's just so funny that you was talking about confronting it. Um, I watched a, a Catholic priest on TV the other night. It was being interviewed and he was talking about demonic presence and mm-hmm. that they, in his his experience in life, to laugh at them or to confront that demonic presence, mm-hmm. it, it really took away their power. They hated it. You know what I mean? Right, so he, right. he, mm-hmm. it just, it kind of went hand in hand with what you were talking about confronting it. You know, mm-hmm. you're not afraid. You're not running from it. And he, he hit on the same topic there, yeah. you know, and I just, I felt like that somewhat related, you know. You have to send me that video. <laughs> Okay, yeah. If I, I can love, find it again, I, I clear my history a lot because I if don't, you don't on YouTube, you'll get bombarded oh, with the yes, same stuff. Yes, yeah. Um, I, uh, I I have a fascination with the Catholic priest when it comes to the paranormal. I don't know why. But I guess because that's the the one church that's so paranormal friendly, you know. But uh, I, I haven't I really listening to them. I haven't really done much studies on that. Uh, but on a related on a different topic, I love the catholic cathedrals and stuff yeah they are living breathing works of art you yeah. know what i mean handcrafted yeah. one of a kind never yes. duplicated or imitated it may be imitated but never duplicated right they are just magnificent now i know that 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 doesn't that's neither here nor there when it comes to your faith but right. it's still a glorious building you know made by man's hands that right. a machine right. could never do oh yeah never have that no much doubt. soul and so yeah. I know that's off our topic, but some of them are no, just beautiful. Yeah, they like, are. Like, what is the what is the big one in Rome? The the um, Sistine Chapel. No, uh, the one where the Pope is at. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can't think of that. Off, can't I, think of I, I, put, I put myself yeah. on the spot, but yeah, the, yeah. The Vatican. <laughs> the Vatican. That's yes, it. I mean yeah. it's it's a work of art. I know people yeah. have a lot of. T- bitter uh, opinions about the Vatican because of right, you right, know right. hearsay and all that stuff. But anyway, yeah. it's a beautiful building. Yeah. Um, yeah. anything that large is going to come with negativity. So, but anything, yeah, anything in the public eye at all these days is, is yeah. negative. You'll never find one topic in this world, whether it be paranormal, whether it be religion, whether it be politics, whether it be a building, they'll, if it's public, there'll always be one side that hates it 
one side that loves it. Yes, Lord. Yes. It, there's, it's always the, a radical anymore. And then you'll have that one party that's like, eh. What we do is a, is such a testament to that. Yes, so, I mean, it's radical. Yeah. Either we either we are. There's no gray area to where. No. You know. Either it's uh, anti-religious what we do, or yeah. it's or it's their favorite thing in the world. They're so fascinated by it. Mm-hmm. Uh, or they, they just, they don't want to talk about it at all. It's very taboo. Yeah. Yeah, Absolutely. Well, getting back to something you said earlier about the, uh, well, he was talking about the Catholic priest, uh, talking about the um, demonic mm-hmm. type. Um, that is also another type of shadow people, um, demonic. Mm-hmm. Um, I personally have never, now I have seen demons, but I've never seen a shadow, a, d- a demonic shadow person. Mm-hmm. Um, not saying they don't exist. I'm just saying I haven't experienced that. Um, they, only, they say the only way to tell those difference is, is they're not, they're the um, smoke form. They're never a form like Mm -hmm. where you look at well that looks like somebody's shadow standing there it's usually in the smoke form um and it's a mist like a black mist the only way you can tell them apart is that they either have red or yellow eyes okay yeah and i've I've actually never never experienced that like i've seen demons you know face to face close up unfortunately but never a a shadow person demon but they say they exist so I haven't experienced anything to that uh, extent yet that I'm aware of. I, mm-hmm. I, I believe, I wholeheartedly believe that we have come across things in this world that we had no idea what they were. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, we absolutely. just on our everyday life, we and have. How many investigations have we done when we experienced something that we never even know we experienced? You yeah, know? yeah, you, you, you're yeah. oblivious to it. Right, but it happened. Right. You know, at the end mm-hmm. of our days, we may find out. But yeah. I have had quite a bit of paranormal experience uh, at, mm-hmm. at a uh, three story building. I won't name the name, a law firm. Mm-hmm. I had quite a bit of experience there with you. I and, think I know and, what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. That's one of our favorite. And yeah. the mannequins that we caught on film yeah. at the museum. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Moving. Damn so things were moving, man. I, I have seen <laughs> factual evidence mm-hmm. of paranormal. The, right. It's not a theory. It's not a guesswork anymore. I have seen it with my own two eyes in our investigations. Uh, I, I can put it to bed and say it's real. It absolutely happened. There there was right. no strings right. attached. I wasn't there to be a part of a big mm-hmm. elaborate scheme or show. It freaking happened. Mm-hmm. So, but stepping away from that, I, I wonder how many things we come across in our investigations, outside of our investigations, that we have no idea. A person we've met that may be paranormal or, or possessed or, right. or someone we right. pass by and don't realize they were a, a spirit. Mm-hmm. Like you said, you have... Mm-hmm. You have told us stories before of, of meeting entities and thought they were like a homeowner or, or a, oh, yeah. a, a custodian or something. Right, right. And and had no idea. They were full fig you know, full not full figured, uh yeah. full bodied. <laughs> they weren't glowing. Well, had a full on conversation with an eighty five year old lady and hours later found out that uh when I described her to the person that lived there, yeah, found out that she had died fifteen years prior to that. Well I, I had no idea that I said I would have had a heck of a lot different conversation with her <laughs> yeah. had I known. <laughs> yeah, it would have been a little bit different. The convers uh, the not the conversation. Well it was a conversation. You had an elderly gentleman that was not pleased with you being on his property. Oh, the King's Mill. The big big fellow, yes. was he not? Yeah. Or, uh, yeah. like a, yeah. a good old logger yeah. or something. He was one of those good old country fed. Country, yeah, country, country boy. Country yeah. boy. And, yeah. And you was, you were he was trying like to six two Six three. You were trying to man, pounds. trying to mansplain your way out of that yeah, one, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sir, yeah, sir. Yeah, you're too big to tussle with him. <laughs> yeah, he was an entity. He was, he yeah, was a spirit. He sure was. Yeah, that would have been an. Incredible he stepped behind experience. a wall that wasn't there, and, and it even took my brain a few moments to, to realize, realize that. It, yeah, because yeah, it was like a building. They were building it, and then the process. Yeah. All it was was two by four building, you know, framework. Yeah. And uh, he was standing right behind it, looking at me this whole time, though, during the entire confrontation. And then after, you know, I started kind of bulking up and trying to be Billy Joe bad boy, you know, and I said, I said, all right, you know what? You got a problem. Let's take care of it, you know, kind of thing. And, and Boy, you'd have regretted that decision. Yeah. <laughs> and then he just kind of looked at me and went, because like, I knew what was going through this entity's head. He's like, dude, my kneecap is as big as your head, you know, and he just stepped behind that wall. And I was like, fine, you know, that's what I thought. Yeah, run. Yeah. But then as I'm leaving, I'm thinking, wait a minute, there's no walls there. Yeah, yeah. He couldn't step behind a wall that's not there. I should be able to still see him. Now, on that topic, do you think that shadow people are a completely separate entity from what we're the story we're telling now, or do you think maybe it's something you know <laughs> he couldn't a shadow person couldn't is trying to manifest into a full bodied entity? That's my biggest feel on that. That's that's kind of what I feel. Can't gather um, the power, yeah, the it, energy, or that's just what they want to perceive. Um, they want you I, to I see. I found that. in the paranormal, the more stories, theories, and hypothesis behind that type of mm-hmm. incident. Mm-hmm. 
the the more interesting it is. Mm-hmm. And shadow people are no different. There's people. There's schools of thought that says shadow people are aliens. Yeah. There's schools of thought that says shadow people are time travelers. There's schools of thought that says shadow people are interdimensional. Yeah. Um, and then there's schools of thought that says they're evil and that they're in skin humans, you know. So. And like we said, you'll never get anybody to agree on anything ever. They'll exactly. always, they'll always <laughs> fall on either one radical side or another, or they'll be they right. just don't care or they don't want to talk about it. It's either yeah. far right, far left, no politics, but you know what I'm saying. Right, right, right. There's yeah. so many different variations, and that goes back to the perception of the brain. What your brain perce- perceives it as is what you're going to believe. Right. So right. if that person believes that it's an interdimensional being, that's right. what they're going to wholeheartedly go with because of course. their brain rationalizes as, as it couldn't be an afterlife. Right. It has to be something from now a far dimensional being is certainly possible, but Definitely. the afterlife is not in that person's brain. Right. You know what I mean? Of course. It, that, of course. That's insane to me. Yeah. But I, I judge not. It's like I said, it's perspective, it's cultural, it's um it's it's belief. You know, it's just what we've been trained to to see. Paranormals are a little bit different when it comes to that because what we're trained to do is to be skeptical open-minded. and open-minded. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So um, all of the above could be a possibility with us. but Because we won't. Uh, I, I think that, that if anything, a paranormal investigator or a person that is fascinated by the paranormal world, I think, if anything, that we're labeled as it's a hopeless dreamer. Right. We believe right. in the uh, unbelievable. We we exactly. want it to be real. We yeah. we don't want the, this giant galaxy to be empty. Right. We don't want Bigfoot to turn up to be a guy in a suit. Right. We we <laughs> want all this stuff to be true because it, it's it's beautiful. It's right. fascinating. Right. Without all, whether you believe in it or not, all of these things if they if they come up one day to be fake and you have absolute one hundred percent black and white proof that the paranormal is fake, Bigfoot's fake, Loch Ness is fake, aliens are fake. And we're stuck with just the human beings that we live with on this planet. How how bad would that be? Have you seen what our planet's doing right now? Yes, no doubt. If there is no mythical or magical creatures, if there is no life after life, how just mundane and and pointless, gl- gloomy would this yeah. world become after that? Yeah, if it's lights out after this. I- What's the meaning? Or, or, or the, even being here, if there's yeah. no creatures that we can't explain, no, right. no, it's it's like I think that if um, with me, uh, if it was to, uh, I was to ever be presented with evidence that totally debunked everything paranormal. I think that my biggest thing is, is all the dadgum money I've spent. <laughs> all that money was wasted, you know? Son of a... <laughs> you started tallying it up and you just start crying. Yeah, yeah. They say never uh, an alcoholic should never look at how much money they spend on beer or a smoker should never look at how much money they spend on cigarettes. And Same paranormal concept should never for us. Look, like, look at how much money we spend on the field. No. You Would know, you, let me ask you this. If you, got out, if, if you found out, just for argument's sake, if you found out paranormal was... Just a made up skit. Would you get into Bigfoot? Cryptozoology? I think I'd probably get into aliens. Aliens? Is yeah. that more you yeah. fall more towards? I think I would. I love it all. I like Bo- I do too. And I like I think Bigfoot would probably be a close second. Um cryptoids I've never really gotten into, but you know, John is super and I think that would be his first. I'm into you know, cryptoid. Crypto. Yeah, you were into I those love too. Yeah, so I love I think that, cryptozoology um, of all kinds. Uh yeah. the, the the skinwalkers, the the Bigfoots, yeah. the rake. Yeah, the goat oh, man. The, yeah, well, yeah. Uh, maybe <laughs> a dog man. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I judge man. no one because right. we have right. the, the. We are still science is still uncovering stuff that we had no idea was there. Oh yeah, look how many how many species are found every day in, in the ocean. Uh, you know, species I mean, so, of birds that we thought yeah. were extinct for a million yeah. years. They're yeah. they're coming. They're they're clearing a rainforest and finding it. And and right. it's twenty twenty three where we have mm-hmm. lidar drone technology. Exactly. So how are you still uncovering stuff? Yeah. I mean, it, it, it it's, flips my mind that there's still land that hasn't been explored. There's still tribes yeah. that we're not allowed to make contact yeah. with. It is illegal to get to that point. I mean, it, yeah. so I wonder if they see shadow people. <laughs> we need to ask them. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. I, I would love to go ask them, but I wouldn't want to stay for dinner. They killed the last guy that stayed. <laughs> yeah. So I think I don't he was dinner. Do that. Yeah, he was dinner probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys for joining us. We really appreciate it. Super cool to have Josh here with us tonight. Um, I'm glad you, you had me on the show. I, I, this is the first I time. I think that you should do it more often. Uh, you're the boss. All you got to do is invite me. Cool. Cool. We want him on, don't we? Y'all tell him. 
Put it in the comments. comments, Yeah, leave it in the comments. And if you have any questions about shadow people or anything that we talked about tonight, um, definitely pop it pop it in the comments. Don't forget to watch Josh on um, Shameless Plug. Keep watch media. Keep watch media. Right, it'll be in the description as well. Can I uh, just a split second? We're going to start changing up. Uh, Keep watch media is going to branch out. We're going to start doing, because uh, I'm not happy just doing news all the time. News is heartbreaking a lot of times. Oh, my God. Yes. And I just I had a hard it's time depressing. finding good news to deliver to people. Right. So we're going to, we never intended to do just that. So we are, I, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, we're going to do some exploration, abandoned buildings and, and stuff that, you know. Oh, my gosh. I bought some new camera I'll let gear you on my that. show. Can I come on your show? Absolutely. I want to come I, and do I would that. love, I would to love have doing you exploring. You've got some like contacts in Selma, and there is a million abandoned buildings in oh, Selma. Oh, yes. So yes. Yes. Just wanted to throw that out there. Definitely. Guys, Y'all check definitely that out. keep your eyes out for that's that. Coming that's going to be the, fun. At the that's first be a of lot the year. Of fun. First of the year. Awesome. I'm, I'm excited now. I didn't even know this. We didn't discuss this. Yeah, that's, this is. The, we just really bought awesome. new cameras for this travel cameras yes. and gim- gimbals. Heck yes. Definitely. Hey, guys, I want you to do me a huge favor. I don't care if it's some. I want you. <laughs> I hope you're going to edit. <laughs> I know. The boss lady back there may edit. Do me a f- huge favor this week. I don't care if it's a friend, family member, or someone you meet on the street. Make at least one person smile like Josh just made me smile. Because that's exactly what we need the most of. Thank you, guys. See you next show.